How to convert HEIC images to JPEG on your Mac without downloading any third-party application. So whether you're using MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac or even Mac Mini, the process is going to be same for all these devices. Now, as you all can see, I have, uh, you know, a folder named HEIC images and I have few images which are in HEIC format. So if I show you the info over here, you can see the images high efficiency image. So how can we convert it into JPEG one by one or in batch? We are going to take a look at it. So let's start with converting one particular image from HEIC to JPEG. First of all, select the image. You can right click and select open with option and then select preview or else you can double click on the image and by default, it will be opened in preview application. So once you open the image, all you need to do is select this drop down option over here and select thumbnail option so that we will be able to see the sidebar now over here you can just simply select the image go in file option and make sure you are still in preview because if you if i click like this now preview option is gone and i won't be able to convert it so tap on the window if you see preview option then select file over here and then select export now when you select export option this will be a small window over here and you can rename the file. We are going to rename it as one. You can select the destination where you want to save it. So you can select this drop down and you can select the destination. If you want more option, you can select this down arrow over here and then you can select desktop. Now I want to save it in new folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder over here. So I'm going to name it JPEG so that it will be easier to understand which images we have converted. So select the folder which you want to save in and before saving your image make sure that you change the format now currently you can see it is in heic format so select this drop down and select jpeg option now in quality you can use this toggle you can move left or right to increase or decrease the quality if you want best quality you can you know turn this toggle to best option now currently you can see file size has been increased now once you do all the settings simply select save option now we have saved this image from HEIC to JPEG to check. Let's go in JPEG folder over here. And this is the image which we have saved just now. Now, if I show you the info of that, now currently you can see the kind is JPEG. Earlier it was high efficiency. So this is how simple it is to convert one particular image from HEIC to JPEG format. Now, let's say if we want to, uh, you know, convert multiple images at the same time, then all you need to do is click and select all the files which you want to convert and then right click and select open with in preview now again if you get this window the preview window now overall uh, over here you can see all the images are there but this time all you need to do is select the image and press shift and select other images so now as you all can see i have selected all the images over here now these all images are in heic format so after selecting the image again we have to go in file option and select export selected images so if you select that this time you will see window is kind of different now we don't see any format option over here or any other option first of all select the destination where you want to save it so we are going to save it in jpeg folder and after that select show options over here now once you select show options now you will be getting an option of format so select jpeg format over here and then again if you want to increase or decrease the quality, use this toggle and then select choose. Now it will run some numbers. And after that, if I go in JPEG folder over here, you can see we have converted HEIC images to JPEG. Now, if I show you the info of this, you can see it has been converted successfully. So this is how simple it is to convert HEIC images to JPEG one by one or in batches in your Mac. If you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.